you invest in a small business and then that business goes bust. Just like that. What happened next? Hello guys, this is Wasi Banda and today I'm going to tell you exactly what happened if you invest in a small business and that business just goes out of business. Just one month ago, I received an email from Honeycomb Credit letting me know that one of the small businesses I invested in have one default. Now, what does that really mean? This means that first, the small business have failed to go ahead and make a payment in the last 30 days from the date it was due. The second thing is that they have stopped responding to Honeycomb Credit altogether. Now, in the email, Honeycomb Credit gave me two options. One, I can go ahead and forgive the business. And in this case, Honeycomb Credit can take whatever amount that paid by the business so far and they haven't distributed yet as dividend and pay it back to investors as a final dividend. Option B is I can go ahead and say, you know what, I'm not forgiving the business. And instead, I will go ahead and proceed against them. And in this case, what Honeycomb Credit will do, they want to take their hand off. As a matter of fact, they will hire a third party company and that third party company will try to collect from the business. Now, one thing you need to understand with the second option, they give me a very specific warning that, hey, you may not just lose whatever amount of money left, but you may end up actually paying more. Now, this third party company that they're going to hire, there's no guarantee they will be able to recover anything. What they're going to do is they're going to try to use the small dividend left for you in order to pay them. If that doesn't work, you may end up actually paying even more money than your original investment. So there's actually a risk to lose even more money with option B. Now, I'm going to be honest, both options sounded crappy. But I had to make a decision. Now, my first impression is, look, if this small business have tried their best and they failed, hey, you know, we all try and fail, and that's completely fine. I expect to lose some money with, with some investment, and that's completely fine. But I got very upset with this business, and there's a very good reason why to do so. One, whatever happened to that small business, they never contacted me as an investor. They have my email. You can say, hey, guys, we tried, we failed. Can you guys forgive us? Believe it or not, if they just send me that email, I will go ahead and forgive them. They could actually go ahead and say, you know what, there is already a term in the contract between them and Honeycomb Credit. And they can say, you know what, we cannot pay you now. Please, we want to revoke a six-month period where we don't pay back. And that would also work. However, the small business decided to do none of this. They decided to go ahead and just ignore us altogether. I find it that insulting for me as an investor. Now, again, I might be wrong, and I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment. Do you think I actually should go ahead and forgive the business, or I should go ahead and try to collect from it? Now, this is what I decided to do. In the same time, I went ahead and contacted Honeycomb Credit. I wanted to know, hey, you are providing me some information, but I honestly feel you are short. How much money actually are you holding from that small business? Will it get enough money to be worth my time? I want to point out, even though I'm talking specifically about Honeycomb Credit in this video, same apply for any other small business bond platform. So it's same apply for the SMBX. I went ahead and checked the SE feeling. If something goes wrong, they don't want to be the bad guy. They will hire a collection company to go ahead and collect on your behalf. Now, it upset me a little bit that they are not taking the actions by themselves, but I also understand it. None of them want to look the bad guy for the small business. Just think about it. The only way these people are able to actually make money and collecting fees is by them being able to successfully going ahead and create campaign for small business. If they go ahead and they be the collection company, everybody gonna hate them, right? So I kind of understand this area. However, I got really upset with Honeycomb Credit for one good reason. The same day I went ahead and received the email from Honeycomb Credit, they, in the bottom they said, hey, one of, if you have any question, go ahead and contact us. Okay, I have a question. I went ahead and asked them exactly how much money they are holding from the small business. Now, they give us one week to vote whether we want to forget the business or we want to try to collect from it. One week passed, two weeks passed, even one month passed. I still did not hear back from Honeycomb Credit. They didn't even respond saying, we cannot tell you, all right? This is very upsetting. This is the time, as an investor, I'm expecting you to provide me help. Yet, your only option is not to respond to me whatsoever. So, this was a red flag for me, and I'm going to make you reconsider investing with Honeycomb Credit as I move forward. By the time all the votes were in, actually that small business have went ahead and contacted Honeycomb Credit, apologized, and highlighted that they want to refinance the debt. And that actually what happened. So after all, I didn't really lose my money. So good news for me. All in all, this was a good experience and I'm glad it really happened so I can go ahead and share it with you guys. Just an FYI, I'm traveling right now overseas and I'm testing different styles of videos. I would really love to hear from you guys. What do you think about this one? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification button. Thank you guys and stay tuned with Wesley Bandler.